the previous video we saw uh, how to account for energy flow right that is flowing with the fluid and in this class we are going to in this video we are going to look at how a system can have interaction with the surroundings so we were able to define a system we defined the state of a system we defined the uh, you know the state postulate and so on now we are going to see how a system can interact with its surroundings what kind of interactions does it possible can it possibly have with the surroundings so basically a system can have um, interactions Uh, can be of uh, three basic types. One is uh, uh, work interaction, and the other is heat interaction, and the other is uh, mass interaction. Right? So, a system can interact with its surroundings in three different ways uh, work, heat, and mass. Right? Um, so, we are going to look at uh, heat first. Right. And uh, uh, here it is important to say that everyday terms that we use like for example, heat capacity or heat transfer or latent heat or uh, um, you know heat removal, heat rejection and all of these terms that we use uh, both in everyday language as well as in uh, engineering problems strictly speaking are not very consistent with the strict thermodynamic definition of heat because heat itself is energy transfer due to a temperature difference so whenever energy is being transferred because there is a temperature difference uh, it's it's called heat right and heat uh, is something that is already it means transfer right so i don't have to say heat transfer uh, although i do and there is even a subject uh, at, uh, at that we have in our curriculum called heat transfer because historically we've been using that term and it continues to be used even today, even in engineering scenarios. But strictly speaking, I do not have to say heat transfer because heat is already energy in transit that is energy that is being transferred, right. Heat is not stored, never stored, although we say heat storage, right. So, heat is never stored, thermal energy is stored, but heat is not stored. Heat is by itself, it means energy being transferred because of a temperature difference and that means that whenever I talk about heat. I talk about a system, I only need to look for heat only at the boundaries. Right? I need to look at only the boundary if I want to see where are the heat interactions that a system is having with its surroundings. So, for example, if this boundary is uh, at a temperature that is hotter than uh, uh, if this boundary for example, for some reason is hotter than uh, the system, then there will be an energy transfer from this hot surface to the system and that energy transfer is heat. right? And similarly, if uh, for, a, for example, a portion of this system is colder than uh, the system itself, then there is energy transfer from the system to the surroundings at this point and there is energy crossing the system boundary at that point and whenever energy crosses a system boundary because of a temperature difference I have heat and that is heat interaction right. And uh, you guys know that uh, heat interaction can take place via three modes uh, conduction, convection and radiation. Uh, conduction is uh, when you transfer heat from a system or to a system uh, by vibrations of molecules, by movement of electrons and so on within um, other materials and so on and that is conduction. Convection is when you have a moving fluid over a surface. The surface can be solid or liquid, but you have to have a moving fluid over a surface and then uh, the 
yeah, the energy exchange between the surface and the moving fluid is called convective heat transfer. And radiation does not require as you know any medium. Uh, for example, the energy that is being transferred from the sun to the earth is because of radiation and that is another form of heat interaction because the sun is at a much higher temperature compared to the earth. So, both the earth and sun exchange radiation uh, from each other, but then uh, the radiation coming from the sun is so much more than what the earth radiates back to the sun that there is a net energy um, transfer from the sun to the earth. Right? So, uh, there is that is uh, heat and it has three modes conduction, convection, radiation. Uh, you all know about it. We will uh, not talk too much in detail about conduction, convection, radiation because there is another course altogether to talk about the mechanisms and the, and the um, analysis of conduction, convection, radiation. So, this is about heat interaction. Um, work is uh, any interaction. that is not heat and not mass exchange. Right? So, it is a negative definition because there is very difficult to define it properly. So, we define it negative. What is the negative? That if an interaction is because of a temperature difference, it is very clear, it is heat. If an interaction is because of mass exchange, then it is mass exchange. If an interaction is because of neither of these two, then it is just work. Okay? And there could be multiple forms of work as we will talk about uh, in, in this video. So, and then of course, uh, we have mass exchange and mass exchange is just uh, what we talked about in the previous video. right? When mass uh, enters or leaves a system, it brings in energy to the system or it takes away energy from the system and so we have got to account for that and there is a mass exchange. Now, um, all of these have units of joule right? and uh, at first glance, uh, we might not uh, pay too much attention to the difference between heat and work and for first law analysis, heat and work are the same. You do not need to worry about whether it is heat or work, but for second law, heat and work are very different and as we will see in this course, uh, they make uh, the difference, uh, they make a lot of difference and we need to differentiate between what is a heat transfer and what is a work transfer. Right? And so, we will look at more closely, what are some of the types of work transfer that are possible. Right? So, again just like heat, uh, work is also recognized only at the boundary. So, if I have an arbitrary shaped system and uh, uh, I have some work interaction, then I must look for it only at the system boundary. Right? So, something that crossing that is crossing the system boundary is uh, what forms work. So, for example, I can have uh, let us say uh, a paddle wheel here, which is being rotated by some external agency and that is crossing my system boundary. right? The external agency is doing work on my system because this is crossing the system boundary here. right? And uh, similarly, I can have uh, for example, I can have some uh, uh, something which is uh, applying a force and deforming my system. right? And so, again that is pushing the boundary and it is acting on the boundary and it is moving the boundary by a certain distance against a certain force or a pressure and so therefore, that also has a work interaction um, with associated with it. Right? And of course, uh, I can also have electric wires crossing the system and for example, I can have a heater there, right? where um, you know what is crossing uh, the system boundary is electrical work. Right? What is crossing the, so it is a very common uh, mistake that people make, uh, once I draw a heater, that means it is a heat interaction, right? but it is not, because the way I have drawn the heater, the heater is actually inside the system. 
right so there is no inter heat interaction that this system is having with the surroundings what is the interaction the interaction is that electrical work is being done on the system that is the interaction so it's actually a work interaction and not a heat interaction right so uh, all of these are work interaction so this is work uh, this is work and this is work right now um, this type of work which deforms the system itself right which changes the volume of the system or the shape of the system or makes the system boundary move basically is called boundary work and constantly uh, usually denoted by wb right and this is just electrical work this is just shaft work uh, this is called shaft work Uh, this is electrical work and you know that w electrical for example uh, is equal to integral of uh, v times i uh, dt right so if i flow a current v current i uh, at a voltage v uh, then the power is v times i and uh, if i flow it over a period of time then i need to integrate that over a period of time to get the total work done that is the total electrical work done uh, you also know that w shaft for example uh, is equal to uh, the torque times the speed uh, integrated over time again right torque times the speed gives you the power and integrate power over uh, time then you get uh, w shaft right and this uh, usually w boundary uh, is usually an integral pdv right um right if there's a pressure and there's a volume change and then so you have to integrate that over the entire process to get the w boundary or the w boundary work there are other kinds of work right uh, raising a weight against gravity uh, you know how to calculate that there's work against spring uh, there's there's other types of work that uh, you can find in the textbook and read about it and uh, we will not talk too much about the types of work because you are familiar with it you can calculate it and so on and so these are the three different types of energy exchanges that a system can have with its surroundings 